another quick bonus tutorial to show you how to set up depth of field in the rendering. So you can just turn on depth of field, but it's a little bit easier if you tell it what object you're using as your focal object. You can give it a specific distance, which is great for animations, but for something like this where uh, it's really easy to just pick something in your scene. Right now I've got the depth of field turned off and you can see how things in the foreground are sharp. Well, if I go back over here and turn this on, we can see we get all this kind of blurring on the objects in the foreground. And you can decide wherever, you can even put it in a null object in here and just sort of move it around. Um, it's something that's sort of invisible to the render that can help you uh, decide where that depth of field is. All right, so there's a couple of things you need to do in order to set this up. So first of all, you need to be in object mode, select your camera, just like way back when we changed the focal length of it. You're going to click on the little green camera icon, and then you'll see that there is this little depth of field box. You need to check that, of course, and then open up the, the uh, drop-down menu here, and you can set a distance, but you also can, and I think in many cases it's better if you come in here to this little drop-down and then select an object in your scene. Or you can, like I say, just come in and, and add in an empty object in here and just put it in your scene wherever you want. Use that as the target. I use this stair light over here, so that's this little ball of light. If I have my, the focus of my scene is my explorer that I'm going to add in here in Photoshop or whatever, holding up a lantern or something like that, this is the area that I want to be in focus and I want these things in the foreground to be out of focus so I just literally picked that light probably could have picked the stair unit here or maybe even that back wall or whatever or put in an empty object and just scooched it wherever I want but as soon as I select that light in there uh, it's going to tell it that's the point that I want to be focusing on but do be aware that you need to come down here to this f stop in here by default you're not going to see a lot of change you really got to drop this thing down see if I, if I move it way down it looks like there's like grease smeared on the lens or something like that that's way too much but I find something in the kind of like the point 0.7 range looks pretty good. You might be, go, be able to go a little bit lower or a little bit higher depending on how sharp you want it to be. I have mine set to 0 0.7. You need to change that little f-stop there to really see the effects of it if you want to get that kind of blurry thing in the foreground or in the distance or whatever.